they kept hammering the gravity into us uh, in terms of the intensity of it and with the juice and all that, that when we're, when we're flying at those intense uh, speeds, we can't really move. Uh, you, you have to be able, and if you're going to be a fighter pilot, it's not just like we're launching a probe to the moon. We literally have to navigate and, and fight. The navigational stuff, and this is what they kind of told me, is like you've got to be able to fly with your fingertips. Mm -hmm. And so I, I started to figure out exactly where my thrusters were and everything and everything, and it, it wasn't big movements anymore. It was, it was very finessey, kind of like um, surgical type of flying, and in the second season, uh, I think you will see very, very quickly the, the first, first couple of episodes, there's a lot of really exciting stuff that happens under intense gravity, and we're, we're in a lot of uh, distress, and it's extremely difficult to, to, to do all of our jobs under that intense pressure. So I was kind of glad that we had figured out this little very prissy control. It's not as sexy as the, uh, it's not as sexy as the uh, Maverick Top Gun, you know. With the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was one of the great disappointments to me also showing up to work to realize that you don't drive a rover with a joystick. <laughs> <laughs> I was very disappointed. Like right? the childhood me was like, oh, it's oh, yeah. software. I feel you, you brother. With? What do you drive it with? Computer oh. code. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to hang out. I'll never get today. to take it for a test drive. It's not even a cool touchpad. Another dream it's just crushed. Crushed. Oh. The disappointment. The disappointment was so palpable. It was, that was just, 